Today, Queen Maxima of the Netherlands attended a conference on sustainable building and looked happy. The 53-year-old princess looked stunning in a vivid teal trench that was exquisitely belted at the waist. The mother of three exuded confidence in the gorgeous outfit, which included sleeves rolled up to display her sophisticated, sun-kissed arms and a collared neck. The queen completed the ensemble with a large clutch bag swirled with gorgeous caramel and complementing teal colors. Maxima wore a pretty straw hat to keep her brilliant blonde hair out of her face. She finished her elegant hairstyle, leaving a few strands out to elongate her face. The queen shone in her customary glitzy makeup, highlighting her big brown eyes with a smoky eye. She chose some neutral pink heeled pumps with tiny bows on the front to finish the ensemble. Maxima attended the Sustainable Construction and Lifestyle Seminar held in Dockham by Baugrope Dijkstra Dresma today. The Dutch king greeted everyone on Thursday with a charming smile, clearly in a good mood. Maxima was once seen conversing with two men who worked in sustainable construction, listening to them talk about the ingeniously constructed homes. In a different photo, the queen showed off a roomy bedroom in one of the eco-friendly houses that was completely composed of wood. Admiring the newly decorated bedroom with its skylight window above the bed, she grinned. She then proceeded through the property's kitchen, grinning as she observed the striking constructions. Maxima posed elegantly in front of a barn-shaped house that had sustainable solar panels mounted on the roof and a wooden deck. The queen was posing for a photo with seminar leaders, almost all of whom were wearing navy suits, and she was in excellent company in her bright blue dress. The busy Dutch princess made an appearance yesterday at a secondary vocational education school in Rotterdam for an education presentation. She was wearing a stunning bottle green dress. The queen wore a vivid green gown that ended just below the knee in an adventurous feathery hem. Her classy appearance was further enhanced by the lovely shawl she wore over her shoulders and the matching green heels she accessorized with. Maxima chose an elegant side parting for her golden hair, and she wore glitzy makeup. The Dutch princess completed her ensemble with three bracelets, a bold ring, and green flowery earrings. With 120 courses available, Albida is a regional adult and secondary vocational education institution. Maxima has had a busy few weeks. On Friday, she went to a mesh remembrance of the Netherlands war. For the event, the queen wore a dusty pink dress with a striking belt detail. She accessorized the look with brown suede-heeled shoes and a floral fascinator that matched the ensemble. The nation was freed from Nazi rule 80 years ago, and the occasion was celebrated. Maxima was escorted by King Willem Alexander, who looked dashing in a light blue tie and navy suit. At the event, the royal couple greeted and accompanied 99-year-old World War II veteran Kenneth Thayer in a jeep. American World War II veteran Kenneth Thayer returned to the little Dutch village that he and fellow members of the 30th Infantry Division freed from Nazi captivity exactly eight decades ago on Thursday, walking arm-in-arm arm with the Dutch Queen. On his visit to Mesh, a small community of approximately 350 people in the hills near the Dutch borders with Belgium and Germany, 99-year-old Thayer was received by Dutch King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima for a ceremony that marked the start of nearly a year of celebrations honoring the nation's liberation anniversary. Maxima reached out and offered Thayer a hand of support as he made his way to his seat to watch the ceremony honoring the American liberators. Following the king and queens and Thayers ride into the village along a dirt trail through fields and orchards. In September 1944, American soldiers from the 30th Infantry Division, also referred to as Old Hickory, were part of the Allied forces that freed areas of Belgium and the southern Netherlands from German domination.